What's going on guys, Team Mart here, and today we got a new teaser trailer for Black Ops 3. I'm gonna play it through in full, it's about three minutes long, and then we're gonna talk about what's going on. Check it out, guys. He's leaving every man in the pack behind. What a show of dominance! Allegations of doping continue. What has happened to sports? Should the record still count? Today, we celebrate the first draft of the human book of life. It's been called the age of wearable technology. Amazing things happen when we merge technology with our body. We will set the technological foundation for an enhanced human experience, and we will end disability. How does that sound? <laughs> Good. In our pursuit of progress, if we undermine the morals that define us, what good is our beloved progress then? The court declared discrimination against modified persons unconstitutional. A historic day in sports as the IBA becomes the first league to allow modified athletes to compete. There she is, the fastest human in history. After all the debate, all the controversy, victory. Scientists announced they created the first networked brain-to-brain -brain connection. You can now literally share your thoughts with someone else. Biotech market skyrockets as DNA upgrades and organ replacements become the new luxury. You look at me and you see only what you want to see. But you know what I see? Everything. The 2055 retinal implant from Court Optic. Massive blast deck. Bionic Sperm Coalescence Corporation sparks worldwide protest. We can no longer stand in silence as these scientists play God. This is not about technology. This is about right and wrong. You think the retinal chips that you buy at the mall are high tech? Our military is light years ahead of that. The things that we use to heal ourselves, they are using to literally turn humans into weapons. The notion that the United States sponsors some sort of super soldier program is not just untrue, it's patently absurd. Next question. Neural control, voluntary limb replacement. This is happening. The only question that remains is how far will we allow it to go? Wow, that was absolutely epic, and it's by far the best intel that we've received to date. It's by far the most telling intel. You know, all the other stuff, all the Snapchats, the cryptic tweets, all that stuff, really didn't give us much information. But this video here really kind of lays it all out for us. It gives us the setting, what year it's going to be taking place in, and just kind of like the whole like theme and, and idea behind the game. Like uh, my video I put up yesterday really wasn't too far off, and that we're talking about like cybernetic enhancements, like using technology to improve humans to be able to do things that they couldn't do before. And it's really kind of like mixing technology with humans or mixing robots with humans in a way. So uh, this whole video, it's just kind of a timeline. So we'll run through it really quick. It starts off in the 90s uh, with like, you know, doping in sports, like steroids and baseball and stuff like that. Uh, and then the early 21st century, like 2000 to 2010, uh, we're talking about like wearable tech, ending disabilities with implants and, and prosthetic limbs and stuff like that. You know, like the, the Apple Watch just came out, so, you know, things like that. Then in 2015, it said, in our pursuit of progress, if we undermine the morals that define us, what good is our beloved progress then? And I think that's going to be like a, a major theme in this game, like a major under underlying factor. You guys will see that play through in the rest of the trailer. Now, uh, we move on to 2020. It says the board declared discriminations against modified persons unconstitutional, so more and more people are starting to get modified. In 2025, pro basketball actually allows the first modified athletes to compete, which is obviously a big deal. 2028, the fastest human in history is recorded, and she has no legs. She's running on prosthetic limbs. They said it was like a really, really uh, controversial thing. Uh, fast forward a few years, 2041, the first networked brain-to-brain -brain connection. You can now literally share your thoughts with somebody else. So it's like a text message from brain-to-brain. -brain. I thought that was kind of cool. And uh, I wonder if that's actually going to be something we have in the future. I thought that was pretty sweet. But uh, anyway, fast forward 10 years and DNA upgrades and organ replacements become available, which sounds absolutely epic. And then in four years later, uh, there's retinal implants. There's like a commercial for a basketball player that says he's got like this, you know, special retinal eye that lets him see everything on the court, which I thought was pretty sweet. 
six years after that in 2061, there are a bunch of protests and people are going crazy all over the world. And they're saying, this is no longer about technology. This is about right and wrong. And these scientists can no longer play God in air quotes there. And then in 2065, there's this guy that they, they he's on the news. They say he's like a whistleblower or something like that. And he says, you think this technology is high tech? The military is light years ahead of that. The things that we use to heal ourselves, they are using to literally turn humans into weapons. And then you can see like a thermal image viewing of a soldier and the only human part of him is like his torso and his head. Everything else is, you know, all robotics and stuff, which is kind of crazy. And then there's like denial from government officials. The U.S. is not sponsoring any sort of super soldier program, but it's obvious they are. They're just trying to hide it from the public. So, you know, that's going to be like a big deal in the campaign and stuff. And then finally ends off with this last quote. He says, neural control, voluntary limb replacement this is happening the only question that remains is how far will we allow it to go and obviously that kind of lines up with the dr slim quote in the initial like you know kind of teaser reveal trailer where it said like the the only thing holding us back our only barrier is how far we're willing to go so this is going to be crazy guys like it's absolutely insane we aren't dealing with humans that have exosuits on we're dealing with humans that are like genetically modifying their bodies. They're cutting off their limbs to have robotic arms and legs. They're cutting out their eyes to have better eyes. Like it's it's gonna be absolutely insane. It's gonna be such a weird, twisted, dark, but just like super awesome game. I absolutely cannot wait for it. And uh, one good thing about it is, is I didn't see any boost jumping throughout the entire trailer. So uh, hopefully that's actually something that sticks around. I don't know, I'll have to wait and see. The actual reveal is three days away, so I'm sure we'll find out here pretty soon. Now, the only question that this leaves me with, like it pretty Pretty much this answers everything but the only thing it leaves me with is what does dr salim have to do with this because dr salim is clearly back in the day he's clearly back in world war ii so what are his experiments doing like it's obviously kind of like the the initial start of i guess what the future could offer a hundred years later but what the heck is going on? Like, what, what, what? I, I don't understand how he fits into the whole picture. And maybe we're going to be flashing back in time to his experiments and stuff. I don't know. But if you guys have any ideas about that, let me know. But so yeah, Black Ops Three. It's going to be all about humans being mixed with robots and cybernetic advancements and, and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Looks like it's going to be taking place in the year 2065 plus, which is a big jump. That's uh, you know 40 years later from Black Ops 2. So we're going to have some better technology, some more upgraded technology, and I'm honestly pretty excited about it. So let me know what you guys think about this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys check out these two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.